Hello guys, Aaron here from ASM Computing. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on email tracing. Now the reason for me doing this is last night, my time as I'm from the UK, I was on developphp.com on the chat and I was speaking to a friend of mine by the name of Rec and he asked me why he'd been banned or was going to be banned from the site. Now I was confused by this so I actually asked what he meant and he said he, he had an email sent to him from Adam or supposedly it was from Adam. So I asked for a copy of the email to take a look. It didn't look right to me so we spoke to Adam. Um, Adam obviously didn't send it and if he was to ban anyone I'm sure he'd do it in his own rightful way I don't think he'd just email you um, so I thought I'd take the job on of doing an email trace to find out exactly where it's from or where the email was sent from and get to the bottom of it so I spoke to Adam and Adam agreed so I got on the job and I've got all the info for him and sent it to him so now he knows who it was from um, I told him I could give him their phone number um, I'm not going to go into all of that detail as it don't need to be told because, I'll, because sorry, it's only for Adam so I'll leave that at that and let's get on with the tutorial ok so what I'm going to do is use Yahoo Mail. Now there's loads and loads and loads of email providers out there. So I'm not going to sit here and go through every single email provider. Because I'd be here all night and obviously there's only a 10 minute limit on the videos at YouTube. And obviously I would need to do hundreds of parts to cover every single email. So just watch and listen to what I, I do and obviously you should be able to find it one way or another in your emails on the settings so let's start so I'm going to go into my Yahoo mail uh, just before I do just quickly this is developphp.com for you new guys that don't know about it um, I would recommend you come over sign up plenty of tutorials here plenty of uh, information well worth signing up for so I hope to see you all over there ok so let's open up Yahoo Mail um, as you can see I've just sent myself um, an email from another one of my email address just so I could do it for this tutorial and as you can see it just says just for a test for the tutorial there's nothing else and it just says from and to now when we get an email we can see it it says who it's from and obviously who it's to being you but it doesn't actually say where it came from so what you need to do is open up the message and if you're in Yahoo or you're using Yahoo you'll make this a bit easier for yourself following me along if you're using a different email provider as I say just watch and look at what I'm doing and uh, I'm sure you'll find it somewhere in your settings so in Yahoo just click actions and select full header and you'll be prompted with a load of code now you don't actually need to go through all this code which makes it even easier so all you need to do is just select it all and copy it and then come over, so I'll just go back just so uh, you can see it then in Google or you can just type it in the address bar at the top but I've just typed it into Google here so you can see the uh, the options you can have here you just want to type IP hyphen address with 1D so A-D-R-E-S-S dot -S com and you want the top one 
and you'll see it says IP tracing, my IP and the rest of the selections here. Now the one we want to look at obviously is email trace. So let's select email trace. And all you want to do is come down the page to you see the text input field just about halfway down the page and just highlight it so you can start typing and you just want to literally paste in the code that we just copied and just select trace email sender and that's it let that program do the rest of the work there's no in insta sorry there's no need to install anything it's literally run straight from the um, website itself um, you just got to wait for it and it will load and as you can see it's got the email sender so my email address um, it tells you well it gives you a map location but over to the right it does actually show you the IP address the country state city postcode latitude longitude the ISP of the of this IP so the internet service provider of the IP so basically being the IP of the server from which the email was sent from um, the organization the host of this IP and the local time of this IP country um, you can click the who is selection here at, on the right and also the host of this IP selection and basically it will just give you everything you need to know there is other options you can do as I say if I just go back it's going to come up with the options like before. Let's get back there. And as I say, you, there's other things you can do here. You can even do IP tracing. You can find out your IP. You can find out a speed test for your downloads and uploads. Um, you can even do a who is domain IP. You can reverse IP. So it's a very good bit of programming here that you can use and as I say basically I use that I got all the relevant information I needed passed it on to Adam and now obviously Adam can get to the bottom of how this happened so I just thought I'd do this tutorial to show you guys so you can uh, use it yourself if you think you've got an unsuspected email and you're not too sure it's from just give that a go get up the details, have a look through, just see if you think it looks like it could be from the right person. If not, just ignore it, just get rid of it. And uh, yeah, so hope this helps guys and I'll speak to you all soon. See you later.